You may be seated. Our time of confession is prompted by the words of John chapter 18, verses 33 to 37, which is also one of our scripture passages for our message this morning. In it we read these words. Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus and asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea? Jesus asked. Or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew? Pilate replied. Your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Jesus said, My kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders, but now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth? retorted Pilate. With this, he went out again to the Jews gathered there and said, I find no basis for a charge against him, but is your custom to release to you one prisoner at the time of Passover? Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They shouted back, No, not him! Give us Barabbas. Now Barabbas had taken part in an uprising. Let us pray. Father in heaven, although we were not physically there at the time of Jesus' trial before Pilate, and though we were not physically there with the crowd shouting for the release of Barabbas instead of Jesus, the King of the Jews, and though we we are not Pilate, and we did not deny Jesus' kingship in our hearts at that time. Nonetheless, O oh God, we confess that time and time again with our reactions, with our hearts, with our actions, we have denied your kingship, O oh God. We have pretended that there are others to whom it is good and right to be ultimately loyal. We have pretended that we are, we are our own kings and queens. We have pretended that truth is something that cannot be found. And yet, O oh God, and yet, O oh God, you reached out to us with truth in Jesus Christ. And you have called into our hearts and minds. And so, Lord, please, hear us as we confess the ways in which we have sought to usurp your kingship in our own lives as we take a moment or two of silent confession. Father, thank you for hearing our confession. Thank you indeed that your Son Jesus is King and that through Him we are welcomed into your kingdom. O oh God, thank you for freeing us from our sins by your blood. We pray this in Jesus' name. 
Amen. Our words of assurance come again from Revelation chapter 1, in which we are reminded, just as we read a few moments ago, that Jesus loves us and has freed us from our sins by His blood and has made us to be a kingdom of priests to serve His God and Father. To Him be glory and power and praise forever and ever. Let us sing together, O oh, praise the name. If you are comfortable, let us stand at this time.